Traditionally, biomedical imaging has always been about seeing the invisible. But these days, it's been increasingly recognized that in order to fully understand biology and diagnose diseases at an early stage, it's not sufficient to just look at nice anatomical images. You really want to directly visualize how individual molecules are expressed in different cells. Make sure that your drug or contrast agent specifically targets a particular disease. Maybe also get real-time feedback uh, about the treatment progression. Besides, biological systems are tremendously uh, complex, so you may need to look at uh, molecules and cells on a microscopic scale, but at the same time also capture what's happening at the whole organ or whole body scale with a different imaging modality. We combine our strong and multidisciplinary knowledge to build new types of microscopy systems for non-invasive multi-scale interrogation of living tissues. This includes, for example, large-scale optoacoustic microscopy and combinations with optical coherence and two-photon microscopy. We also help developing and applying new redshifted fluorescent proteins and contrast agents in the second near-infrared window to enable deeper tissue penetration. Fluorescence microscopy is limited to small volumes and highly invasive procedures like craniotomy. With our newly developed structural elimination and optical localization techniques, we are able for the first time to perform three-dimensional fluorescence microscopy of the mouse brain non-invasively at capillary level resolution, effectively offering a field view of one centimeter. In this way, we can obtain new information about neuroactivity, microcirculation, and neurovascular coupling. In vivo functional and molecular imaging is not only about making nice images with high spatial resolution, it is often important to be able to visualize dynamic biological processes with high temporal resolution, ideally on a whole body scale. With our spiral volumetric optoacoustic tomography scanner, it is now possible to visualize fast whole body kinetics of molecular agents and drugs entirely non-invasively down to suborgan level. Some biological applications require truly ultra-fast imaging speeds. During my PhD, we developed a new imaging method that can visualize the propagation of electromechanical waves across a beating heart in three dimensions with a frame rate of several kilohertz. I hope to use this new imaging technique to study basic mechanisms underlying life-threatening arrhythmias. I'm leading the ultrasound projects in our group, primarily focusing on imaging and stimulation of the brain. We collaborate with the local neuroscience groups and also externally. One major collaboration is with New York University under a joint NIH funding to combine ultrasound neuromodulation with fluorescence and optoacoustic monitoring of large-scale brain activity. Coming from a physics background, my everyday work usually starts with working out the theory of an existing problem through calculations and simulations, for example, dealing with the challenging problem of ultrasound propagation through a human skull. We build new multimodal imaging instruments by combining cutting-edge imaging technologies. Our new project, that is funded by Swiss National Science Foundation, is aimed at integrating high-field functional magnetic resonance imaging with optoacoustic tomography and fluorescence calcium imaging, all in one scanner. During my doctoral thesis, I'm trying to use this unique combination to better understand the underlying mechanisms of neurovascular coupling in the brain. Our group was originally behind the invention of multispectral optoacoustic tomography or MSOT technology. Our recent efforts are directed toward translating this breakthrough imaging technology into the clinics. We collaborate with several clinical groups at the University Hospital Zurich on pilot diagnostic MSOT imaging studies in patients with cardiovascular disease, breast cancer, lymphatic disorders, and also plan to use MSOT for precise monitoring of the therapeutic interventions such as radiation treatments. In collaboration with the Swiss Data Science Center, we also develop deep learning based algorithms to improve image quality and facilitate interpretation and the quantification of the clinical data. I'm a junior group leader at the Institute for Biomedical Engineering. My research focuses on developing novel imaging tools and a biomarker to study the pathophysiology in other disease. We apply multi-scale, multi-model imaging tools, including high-field MRI, optoacoustic imaging, fluorescent imaging for detecting amyloid and tau pathology, connectivity deficits, and neurodegeneration. This unique imaging platform is only available at the functional and molecular imaging lab.